Today is beach packing day. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what we are packing and how we are packing for our beach vacation. guys I'm Kristen and welcome to the gold project if you are new here welcome we hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos I post videos at least three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and on this channel we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together so I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission before we get into today's video if you've not seen my weekend travel packing video make sure you check that in the cards above a few weeks ago I shared with you how I pack to go to my sisters this is how I pack for short trips which are a couple of days to my family's house or basically anywhere so definitely check that in the cards above today's video is basically long-term trip packing so I'll be sharing with you how we pack to go to our beach vacation. Now this is the fourth year that my family, my whole family, nine of us, has gone to Gulf Shores in Alabama for our vacation. So we drive down there, which is eight, eight and a half hours. We break it up into two days and we rent a beach house. So there are four different sets of people that split one beach house, which makes it a very affordable vacation. So I will be sharing that in a couple days. I did vlog during the vacation. So you will see all of that, our beach house and what we're doing, what we're eating and all of that while on vacation. So definitely come back to watch that video. So last year, nor every other year, I have done the packing part in the vlog. And this year I decided to break it up. So in this video, you are gonna see me packing what we're packing for the beach house so we buy towels every year we buy necessities everybody everybody brings toilet paper and then we kind of divide our list up so like this year my husband and i had to bring like coffee and dishwashing detergent um laundry detergent so everybody gets a little portion of this list these are just household things the food drinks and all that won't be purchased until we get there but we like to have some things just in case we get there too late and we're not able to go to the store you definitely need toilet paper on day one you know what i'm saying and you definitely need coffee on day one so i actually have in there coffee sweet low and creamer because i cannot go without those things so now we are going to make this a vlog style video. I wanted to make sure I introduced the video before we got into the actual packing just so I could kind of tell you where we're going and all the details. So now you are going to see me actually packing for our beach vacation. Welcome to our vacation chaos. So we leave tomorrow morning for a vacation and we have most everything packed everything is not fully packed but i want to walk you through everything and some of the stuff if you've not seen my weekend traveling packing video i'll put that in a card above and some of the things like my beauty organizer it's not all the way put together but that's how i will be packing that for this trip so i'm going to turn you around and we're going to take a look at everything and i'm going to walk you through so i'm in the office if you've not seen my office tour video i will link that above so this is what you see when you walk into the office on the left over here that is nathan and derek's things he's all packed they're using one suitcase and i'm not opening it up and this is our beach toy bag which there's not a lot in there these we got from dollar tree and for a dollar each and each kid has one of these for the road trip. So if we stop and they get something to eat, anything that they eat can be eaten on one of these trays. We've had these for two or three years and they are super beneficial. We take them on every long trip. And then this over here is basically all the family stuff. Kate's bag is the polka dotted bag and then my bag is the purple bag. So, and then back here, we're gonna go through these tubs first. 
So these back here, these go on the hitch on the very back of the truck and they contain all the house stuff basically so we do shop when we get there but there are some things that we do bring with us so i'm going to share with you what's in these first because it's easiest and then we'll go from there so i am taking a case of water for us because we can get water when we're there but if we want drinks on the way or we've got to stay in a hotel tomorrow night then there are waters and we don't have to pay a huge amount to get one at a gas station so this is actually a box of skinny pop popcorn so i usually eat this for lunch so i got a case of 30 off of amazon because you never know like our walmart here sometimes they have the little bags and sometimes they don't so i just went ahead it was amazing price on amazon so I just had it shipped to me. So that's going to go with us. And then we're gonna go through these. So this contains stuff that we are taking and then my mom has already dropped her stuff off. These tubs came from Home Depot. My sister and my brother-in-law have the same ones. So this is the first one here and I'll kind of show you as much as I can. So everybody brings toilet paper. So we've got our toilet paper in here. Let me turn this down. It's kind of bright. We brought napkins. So there's napkins in here. Wet wipes. Laundry detergent. Y'all know this is the only laundry detergent I use. And I got some dish soap. And I put washi tape on the top of some of these things. So that they would not come open while we're traveling and get all over everything. Then we have our soap. My mom got the kids some little, these were at Walmart, just some glow things for the 4th of July. Maybe I'll have to move those to the side. These Chinette cups so that we're not dirtying up a bunch of dishes in the morning because everybody drinks coffee and these have lids. This is, we had straws in the pantry so I just went ahead and shoved some of those in here one bottle of sunscreen i think i've got sunscreen all over the place aloe in case somebody gets burnt on the beach and then my thermal from 31 gifts this is what i will take to the beach with drinks and we usually pack lunch so we'll pack sandwiches and things in there and snacks so that we're not spending money at the clubhouse the second one is just got beach towels in it which is good oh no nope, one other thing this has beach towels for us and my mom. And then we have a box of goldfish because all three of the kids like those. So they'll have a little, some snacks to snack on. This one here contains more random stuff. Let me sit down. Hopefully I don't crack the top of this. Okay, this is the toilet paper that my mom brought. We like to do puzzles on vacation. So Nathan and Kate got puzzles for Christmas. So we've got them in here. Kate got this Winnie the Pooh one. And then Nathan got this one here. So we're hoping, my sister was supposed to pick up, I need to ask her if she got that, some of the glue for the back of the puzzles because I know like Nathan's, we, will, we want to frame his. So we need some of that glue. So I hope she picks some of those up. Two big things of plates. This is another thing of sunscreen. Y'all have got about three or four things of sunscreen in here. Garbage bags, sweet and low. My husband and I have two of these. You'll see the other one in a minute. You guys know, and my mom is now the same way. We have to have this creamer. So I hunted this down and I found it on Amazon. The singles, so I purchased two of them. One for the trip there and one for the trip home. So Amazon does have it. It's the only place I found it. Dryer sheets, coffee filters, coffee, my breakfast bars. And you guys, I always travel with my breakfast bars because you never know if they're going to have them or not. Um, one summer when we went to Gulf Shores, they did not have those breakfast bars anywhere. And I was so bummed. So now I take them with me. 
And then the last one is just towels. Everybody brings towels. I'm trying to hold on to my little strap here. Everybody brings towels and washcloths. So this is my ours and my mom's in here. And you will see these. These will make one of my July favorite things. They are the Dollar General. Oh, is it Lofty Soft or something like that? We always get those. All, all of us get those towels for vacation and we just rotate them out in the house. And then like I told you, the washi tape, look, see, I washi taped this down so it does not pop open when we're traveling. Dishwasher detergent. So those are all of the house things that we are taking and my mom and then my sister will be bringing the rest. Okay, let's be honest. You cannot take a road trip, especially nine hour road trip, and not have a bag of snacks. So this is basically what you were seeing here. This is gonna be up front with all of us. And this is the little first aid kit here. I just have band-aids and let me open it up and share with you what's in here. So I have like nose spray, band-aids, thermometer, Motrin, allergy medicine, Neosporin, so just a little small first aid kit in case we need it. This is actually for my sister. This came in the mail. That's some pins for her. I am traveling with a whole thing of Walmart bags so that in case somebody gets sick or somebody needs to throw some trash away, it's in here. So we've got two gigantic bags of Skinny Pop, or there's this bag of Skinny Pop. And then they didn't have two bags, so we got this one. Boom Chica Pop. Never had this, but grab that too. Skittles. Um, my candy. I'll just tell you what my candy is, and then we'll go from there. Wet wipes for the snacks. And then my snacks, I got Skittles. I got Mike and Ike. And then I think that's it. And then I have the Skinny Pop. I thought I grabbed one other thing. Did I not? I don't guess I did. And then we've got a thing of creamer in here for the hotel room. Yep, I guess those were the two things I grabbed. I thought I grabbed something else, but I guess I did. So, I've got Mike and Ike, Skittles, and then the other things are for everybody else. Okay, next up, you guys know, make sure if you want to know how I have this organized, check that card above for my weekend traveling. This is not completely finished. So it's tr it's packed the same way that I have packed it for weekends. It's not fully packed because we're not leaving until tomorrow. So some things like my toothbrush and all that won't get put in here until tomorrow. But we do have, I purchased some Sport Face Sunscreen for my face so i've got stuff for my body and for everybody's body and then some for the face but everything else in here you've seen and it's organized the same way so before we get to the suitcase let me just state that these shoes will not fit in my suitcase i'm only taking one suitcase i'm gonna share what's in here in just a second so probably what's going to happen is it's probably going to get shoved into the bag with all of the towels so that's just how that's gonna work. That's all my shoes. And then I have flip-flops on right now. These will probably be what I wear tomorrow. So, you know, typical overpacker. So let me go through this over here first. I always like to carry a jacket. So this stuff will be up front with me. I've got a jacket and then this I just got for Christmas. This is the Everlasting Comfort Neck Pillow. So I'm gonna take those two things with me. Then um, I'll show you my backpack in just a minute, but let's go through the luggage first. So this is the Travel Pro Max Light 4 luggage. This is like the 25 inch, and look, it may know how to get a grease spot off luggage. If you do, leave it in the comments below because I really need to know. So here we go, opening up. At the very top up here, I have two pairs of house shoes, my Erin Condren robe, and then my hat for the beach. I don't really wear ball caps. So I got this two years ago. And look at all the Bella hair. That's disgusting. I'm going to have to get that off. So I got this two years ago at Target. And I really like it. So I'm going to clean it off. And this is what I wear for the beach. So let's move these off. Eagle Creek Packet Cubes is what I use for packing. And I will tell you that 
after this vacation, I am at least going to order two or three more because every year I have tried to make it work with the ones that I have, but I need about three more. So I will share with you what I'm talking about in just a second. So this is, this is what I mean. This right here has my socks in it. There's really nothing fancy about it, you guys. I just shoved them in there. And if you're wondering, this came from Target last year. It was part of their whole Mickey line that they came out with. So I wear socks to bed, you know. So I would like for this to have a matching. So I would like to have this match all the other ones. So that is one. I'm going to have to get one for, for socks. These are my tank tops here. And this is the half cube size. And then this is a whole cube size here. It's got all of my bathing suits in it. So I've got my bathing suits, my tank tops. So there's the difference in size. That's the half cube and the full cube. Okay, then see, I don't even have all of this. Y'all just grabbed a bunch of bottoms. I did not match anything. I just grabbed it. I, I overpack, I always overpack, but I just did because we're going to be there for seven days. I don't know what type of pants I'm going to need or anything. So they're all right here shoved in here. So let me move these. And some of these are like lounging joggers and I've got denim shorts and I've got some capris and I have some athletic shorts. So we've got a variety of bottoms here. Next we have my pajamas in this big one and I sleep in leggings and t-shirts. So all of that is crammed in there. I've got my Erin Condren beach bag. Please, Erin Condren, please bring the oversized tote back. Please, please, please. I love them, and I hate that they discontinued them. So I'm taking that. Then I have panties and bras. Then my massive pile of sweatshirts over here because like you know, if you've been a part of this community for a while, you know that I sleep in a sweatshirt. It does not matter where I am. I'm gonna be at the beach and it's gonna be hot and I'm still gonna have the sweatshirts. I have an emergency little pouch here with panty liners and tampons and pads. I shouldn't be on my period, but you never know. And then this is my Barrington Gifts cosmetic and it has my medication in it so these are my care of vitamin packs that you guys have seen me use i've used these for two years now so convenient i love them so i've got all those packs that's what i usually take at lunch melatonin in case i have trouble sleeping and then i have a pouch for my medication at night time and a pouch for my medication in the morning and these are Vera Bradley pill organizers. So that is what is in there and that is what is in my suitcase. And I will mention, I forgot to put this in here, it's sitting back here. I always carry, since I'm going to be in a different place, I always carry a yeast infection kit because you never know, you guys, with eating differently and, you know, different toilet papers and different water, you know, you never know. So I always like to be prepared. So I will have this in here as well. And I just realized I didn't even share my tops. So that my tops are in this little folding thing. And y'all, I don't have them folded up the best that I could. If you see, they're sticking out in the side. But... It will be okay. So this, I just take it and I'm gonna place it upside down on the top. Like that and it kinda levels everything off on the top and then I'll shut the lid. And that is my luggage. So we're just gonna sit my luggage up over here. And so that is everything so far. This is what's going to be up front with me and this is what's not gonna be packed into the last minute. This is my purse. It's the Cavu Rope Sling in the Chroma Stripe. I did a video over this this past month, so I will link that in a card above so you can check that out. Then this is basically my YouTube <laughs> vlogging backpack. So it's not really packed up right now because I, I've got to edit this video once I'm finished. So all of my planners will go in there. My laptop will go in here. This is the Reckon backpack from the North Face. I've had it for three years and I absolutely love it. 
Um, so, what's up there? Oh, my zip paper. So my Polaroid zip will go in here, my vlogging camera, my planners, notebooks, my budget planner. I have an extra thing of stickers. I always carry half boxes with me in case I need to do some video changes last minute and I don't wanna wait till I get home. So all of this will be packed up tomorrow. So in the front with me will be this backpack, my purse, my neck pillow, and my jacket and this is a pretty little monograms jacket and i will link that shop in the description below so that is what i will be carrying on vacation okay last but not least is kate's bag so i'm gonna open it up and share with you what's inside so she is carrying her planner with her she's already started using that and she's got all of her stuff kind of divided out if you can see there are her shoes up there and hers. And this is the American Tourister luggage. So she has all of her items divided up. These are Vera Bradley. I don't know the name of the print. Somebody did ask me that, but I'm not really sure. So she has socks in one, panties in one. She's got all of her shirts, her Donald Duck. She's got her camera there. I don't wanna mess anything up. There's her swimsuits and her pajamas so it's all in here she does all of her luggage packing herself but i just wanted to share with you what she is carrying so everything's in here she's had hers packed for a week so she is all packed and ready to go so that is what we will be traveling with on vacation this year so you've got the four tubs in the back i've got a suitcase and my beauty organizer Derek and Nathan are sharing that suitcase over there. That is Kate's suitcase. The shoes are fixing to go in the tub. This is what will be up front with me, my backpack, my Cavu rope sling, my neck pillow, and my jacket. Then you have that water will be in the back and our skinny pop will be in the back. And then we have our snack basket bag tote, tote, there we go, snack tote. So that is what we will be taking on vacation to the beach. So if you have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comments below and I will definitely share any of the information if I have it. So that is how and what we are packing for our Gulf Shores vacation. It seems like since this is the fourth year we are going, we take less and less stuff every year. That first year we took so much stuff and we didn't use hardly any of it so it's like every year we get a little bit better with packing so this year we're not taking our beach wagon we're not taking beach chairs we're not taking nearly as many towels so it's getting easier and easier every year to pack for this vacation so in a nutshell what you've seen is basically our necessities and then all of the food items we will purchase when we get there minus my breakfast bars because while we're traveling to Gulf Shores, we will be staying overnight. So they may have my breakfast bars. They may not have them. Gulf Shores didn't have them a couple years ago. So I started traveling with those. So in the comments below, I would love to hear from you what you like to pack on vacation. Let's get a conversation going about packing for vacation to help each other out. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.